it's very difficult to know what exactly is happening because both the army and the rapid support forces are not giving the same information. What we know is that the fighting started in several uh, major cities of the country this morning, uh, including Khartoum, Port Sudan, or uh, the city of Meroe. In Khartoum, it's uh, difficult to know which uh, building is under which control right now. What we know is that the airport is under the control of the rapid support forces and that uh, heavy uh, gunfires can be heard everywhere in the capital, especially around the presidential palace and around uh, the national televisions uh, that is currently surrounded by the rapid support forces. I cannot confirm for now that uh, they have taken the presidential palace, uh, nor can I uh, deny it. Um, tanks are seen everywhere in the, in the capital, and uh, heavy fighting so are happening. And uh, according to um, doctors' unions that have been able to uh, reach, uh, many people have been injured, including civilians. These are very bad injuries, but it's impossible for now to say how many people were killed or injured, and uh, if uh, more uh, civilians will be targeted during the day. It seems that for now, uh, most of the civilians are taking shelters in their homes and in their apartments. Um, Bastien, why have there been these long simmering disagreements between the, the military and paramilitaries? This comes after both sides said as late as Thursday that they were prepared to take steps to de-escalate tensions. Yeah, but these uh, tensions have been escalating during the past months, during the past weeks. To understand why, I need to tell you a bit more about what the Rapid Support Forces are. Uh, it's a paramil paramilitary group that has been created under the rule of Omar al-Bashir. And it's composed of former uh, militiamen from the Janjaweed militias uh, who are responsible for the killings of uh, tens of thousands of people in the Darfur uh, region. Uh, they're supposed to obey to the government, but they're not part of the army. And since uh, the revolution in 2018, they've been trying to share the power with uh, the army, with uh, General Buran. General Emeti is the head of uh, the Rapid Support Forces, and there have been uh, tensions growing between the two men. During the past uh, weeks, uh, tensions have escalated because according to uh, the transitional agreement that uh, is yet to be signed by Sudan, uh, well, the RSF should be integrated into the army, but it's impossible for them uh, to agree with the army on who uh, should lead this process and uh, under which conditions. So it seems that uh, these tensions have escalated so much that the fighting started this morning.